One thing you can definitely say about the American League Central, it's been exciting. I'm Lauren Shahadi. We are gearing you up for baseball season with your division previews. 162 games hasn't been enough to decide the Central. The last two seasons, this division has been settled in a one-game playoff in 2008 when the White Sox beat the Twins and again in 09 when the Twins took the Tigers. Speaking of the Twins, they moved, and it's going to be a chilly one at that, from the Metrodome to Target Field in what will bring a frigid early and end of the season in Minnesota. But perhaps the real concern will be their need for a new closer. The club's bullpen took a big hit with news that Joe Nathan would go under the knife for Tommy John surgery. The Twins will continue to audition potential closers. Of course, we'll keep you updated right here on the site. Joe Maurer is updated. With a lot of cash, the Twins avoided a huge issue by getting Joe Maurer's contract situation settled $184 million over eight years. I'll say that's settling it. Maurer's deal would pay the three-time AL batting champion $12.5 mil in 2010, then $23 million for each of the following eight seasons. There are fewer questions, roster questions, this year than maybe ever with the Twins. I look around, it looks set. Yeah, you know, um, we made some great moves uh, this off season. You know, bringing in Hudson and um, you know Tomei, obviously. But I think uh, one of the bigger ones was bringing back Carl Pavano. You know, he was a big, a big reason of our success late last year, and kind of took that uh, that head role in the staff. And um, you know, guys kind of you know rallied around him too. But um, yeah, we we made some good moves, and uh, we look pretty good on paper. But we still got to play the games. The White Sox began overhauling their team midway through the 29 season, acquiring Jake Peavy and Alex Rios. Peavy matches up with fellow AL Central aces Justin Verlander of the Tigers and Zach Greinke of the Royals. But the Sox also have Mark Burley, John Danks, Gavin Floyd behind them. This spring, a lot of the focus on the Sox has been spent on Ozzy Gian's Twitter account, but that might be distracting people from the solid team they expect to field in 2010. You got a chance at the end of the year to see what Jake Peavy could do. Not that it was a big surprise, but to have Jake Peavy and Mark Burley at the top, and obviously with Floyd and with Danks, you, you have to feel like your rotation can match up with anyone. Do you feel that way? Well, I, I think every time we go out there, we know we're going to compete, and we know we're going to have a chance to win. That's all you can ask when you have the starting rotation. I think if those guys go out there and, and do what they do over the years, uh, these five guys out there, they're going to they, you know, they're going to be tough. I and mean, I think they, they're tough to each other. They want to be good. They want to compete against each other to who's better. And that, that got to help a lot our, our ball club. As for the Tigers, they traded away Curtis Granderson and Edwin Jackson and lost Placido Polanco and Fernando Rodney to free agency. But they weren't in fire sale mode. They still have a pretty good team that added Johnny Damon's bat. And they are getting a big spring out of Maglio Ardonez, who, if he returns to form, can make the Tigers lineup a pretty tough one to face. And this spring, obviously, uh, there's a lot of optimism here. And part of it based on, I know, how you feel, but also how Maglio Ordonez looks. T tell me about what you've seen from him. Maglio's look great. He looks great right now. Um, he's in great shape. Um, his swing is right back to where I think it was in 06, and that's a, that's a good thing for us. Um, you know, he's driving the ball all over the yard. And when he gets confidence, you better watch out. The 2009 Royals were all about Zach Greinke and little else. Greinke won the Cy Young Award, but the Royals still lost 97 games. They've made a lot of changes, adding Chris, Chris Getz, Josh Fields, and Scott Podsednik from the White Sox, Rick Ankeel, and Jason Kendall. But one thing that does look familiar, Alex Gordon, who only played 49 games last year, will start the season off on the DL with a broken thumb he suffered in spring training. As for the Indians, they can't trade away the reigning Cy Young Award winner this season like they have the last two years, and it doesn't look like they'll have the opportunity to do, to do so next year. Their starting rotation is anchored by a pitcher who hasn't appeared in a game since May of 2008, Jake Westbrook. So here's a look at their rotation. Fausto Carmona hasn't done much since his brilliant 2007 season. Justin Masterson, a result of the Victor Martinez trade. It's rebuilding time in Cleveland, and no one is pretending that they're a threat in the AL Central. But maybe Westbrook comes back from injury. Maybe Fausto Carmona and Johnny Peralta are better. And maybe, just as the 2009 tri Tribe was a lot worse than people expected, the 2010 Tribe could be better. Here's what Scott Miller thinks, though, our MLB columnist. He is leading with the Twins, followed by the White Sox, Tigers, Royals, and wrapping with the Tribe. But the only way to find out for sure, let the season unfold. We will keep you posted right here every step of the way on CBSSports.com. I'm Lauren Shahadi. We'll talk to you soon.